How do you do? Please, just how do you do? That's one of the things this article brings out. If I want to get off to a smooth start with people, it's half the battle I find. Well, maybe you'll understand why I feel that way. If I tell you what happened to me last night, I got so mixed up and embarrassed. It was painful and quite unnecessary. Well, I was having a coat with my next door neighbor, Ann Woolsey. She's home from college for the holiday. And such fun. She makes everyone feel welcome. I was having a wonderful time listening to her tell all about her college experience. Until I happened to look up and see Frank Norton and Bill Phillips come in. Frank's new in town. He's smooth. Everyone likes him. As for Bill, he's the type who usually puts his foot in it. Well meaning, but sloppy, you know. I realized if they saw us, I'd have to introduce them to Anne, or Anne to them. Gosh, I thought, which is correct. By the time they did see us, I was in a dither. They kept right on coming, and I kept right on trying to recall the correct way to introduce everyone properly, and wishing I weren't so vague about such things. For a moment, I couldn't remember Anne's name. I stumbled around. Frank, I said, this is my friend. No, I mean a... a this is a... Anne, meet Frank. Oh, dear, I said, I want you to, to get to know each other. N this is Bill, I said. I felt so adolescent. Such a little thing to get so mixed up and excited about. Right then and there, I decided it was high time I got the whole matter of introduction straight, so I'd never have to think twice about them again. On the way out, the feature article in this month's Modern News hit me between the eyes. The publishers must have had second sight when they put it in. I bought the magazine to do a little homework. And that's what I'm doing. Well, we're all apt to make a boner now and then. Once you learn the basic rules, an accepted introduction isn't really so complicated, is it? No, that's the point. It's simple. Look. Persons of opposite sex address the woman first. I should think watching other people you know have the correct technique would help. Exactly what this article says. I was thinking about a committee meeting at Frank Norton's house the other night. I didn't realize how well he handled those introductions. But as I look back on it, Miss Cameron, my teacher, Joan and I were the first to arrive. The other two had never met Frank's parents. but I knew everyone there, so I said. Good evening, Mrs. Norton. Good evening, Peggy. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. Then I stepped aside while Frank introduced the others. Miss Cameron, this is my mother. How do you do? I'm glad to meet you at last, Miss Cameron. Frank has talked about you so much and so favorably. <laughs> Mother. 
Mother, Joan Wood. How do you do, Joan? How do you do, Mrs. Norton? Here's Father. Well, Peggy, how are you this fine evening? I'm just fine, thank you, Dr. Norton. I told you, Peggy, Bill would be along. Excuse me. Bill, how are you? Hiya, Frank. How you doing? You're late. Oh, what's that there, Frank? <laughs> Come on in and meet everybody. Hey. Hiya, Peggy. Hello, Bill. Sorry I'm late. Dad, this is Bill Phillips. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Come on, Dad. We'll meet the others. Miss Cameron, this is my father. How do you do, Miss Cameron? How do you do? Dad? I want to introduce you to Joan Wood. How do you do? How do you do? Excuse me, please. Would you excuse Bill for a moment, please, Peggy? Certainly. Thank you. Mother, I'd like to introduce Bill Phillips. How do you do? Frank tells me you're the captain of his basketball team. Well, yes, I am, Mrs. Norton. Well, it's been nice to see all of you. We'll leave you to your meeting now, if you will excuse us. They then said goodbye to us all, and they left. You see, nobody squirmed at Frank's introduction. They were all so simple and right to the point. We can all probably learn something from your experience. Just be sure you didn't miss anything. We can compare both these occasions with some of the points in the article. Would that do it? It should. Let's start with the one about speaking the woman's name first when introducing a man to her. Remember the mess you made of that one? You got all mixed up to start with. Your friends got the idea all right, but introductions like uh, meet so-and-so or let me make you acquainted with so-and-so are considered awkward anyway. Let's see how Frank introduced his father to his teacher. Addressing the woman first, he said, Miss Cameron, this is my father. How do you do, Miss Cameron? How do you do? There is one exception to the rule. Did you notice? Dad, I want to introduce you to Joan Wood. Frank addressed his father first out of respect. Even here, he phrased the introduction so that he introduced the man to the girl. Let's have that one again. Dad, I want to introduce you to Joan Wood. Suppose Frank had wanted to introduce me to Joan. He could take his choice. It wouldn't matter, since both of us are of the same age and sex. Now, how about persons of the same sex? Here, Frank wanted to show Miss Cameron respect as a teacher and as a visitor in his home, so he addressed her first. He said simply, Miss Cameron, this is my mother. When he came to Joan and his mother, he addressed his mother first because she was the older of the two. He merely gave the name with a slight pause in between. Mother, Joan Wood. When Frank introduced Bill, he spoke to his father first because he was older. Hello, Bill. Sorry I'm late. Dad, this is Bill Phillips. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Well, that takes care of introductions, but you can't leave the situation hanging there. There's the matter of answering them. Unless you have a very good reason for saying something else, stick to the accepted form and just say, how do you do? Not, how do you do? And not, how do you do? Just say it simply, like Miss Cameron did. How do you do? Frank's mother wanted to make her response to Miss Cameron a bit more personal, since she had heard about her before naturally. Miss Cameron, this is my mother. How do you do? I'm glad to meet you at last, Miss Cameron. Frank has talked about you so much. This was another good way to acknowledge an introduction, wasn't it? Frank's mother mentioned something in common, so as to break the ice, as I remember. How do you do? Frank tells me you're the captain of the basketball team. Well, yes, I am, Mrs. Norton. It's a good policy to fix a person's name by making it a part of your response, as Frank's mother and Joan did. Mother, Joan Wood. How do you do, Joan? How do you do, Mrs. Norton? 
Men do shake hands, but not as if approaching a time bomb or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dad, this is Bill Phillips. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Just a comfortable, firm grasp is all that is necessary. Men do not shake hands with women unless the woman holds out her hand first. Remember? I said Bill was kind of sloppy about such things. But since Bill was a stranger to Anne, she could have held out hers first, right? Right. If Bill had been a stranger brought up purposely to meet her, she should offer her hand. The same rule holds for two girls. It looks this time as if Bill did the right thing. He waited for Mrs. Norton to offer her hand. Mother, I'd like to introduce Bill Phillips. How do you do? Yes, the woman always takes the initiative when it comes to shaking hands with a man. What else? How about rising? When should a man rise? When should a girl? Oh, yes. Let me see. I I'll have to dream up a situation. Imagine Frank sitting there where I was. Then imagine me bringing Joan to introduce him to her. Frank would rise the moment he realizes I'm bringing someone to be introduced to him. He would rise also if I brought Bill instead of Joan. Uh, and either time he'd look as if it were a pleasure, not a hardship. As for girls, well, Joan would have risen as soon as she was introduced to Frank's mother or father, if either of them had been standing. Well, I guess that takes care of nearly everything. It's all a matter of practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a chance to put these rules into practice. A party at Frank's. Oh, Peggy. Yes? Wasn't there something in that article about how you carry out those basic rules? You mean? All the rules in the world would make people glad to meet an automaton. It's the warmth in the greeting, the feeling you put behind it that counts. Gosh, didn't I say anything about that? Why, that's the most important point of all. How's Peggy getting along? Good student, Peggy. Learns quickly. Following those few basic rules pays off. Wait and see. It's fun to meet people when you feel at ease. What's more fun is the way people will enjoy meeting you. up and see Frank Norton and Bill Phillips come in. Frank's new in town. He's smooth. Everyone likes him. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Please, just how do you do? That's one of the things this article brings out. If I want to get off to a smooth start with people, it's half the battle I find. Well, maybe you'll understand why I feel that way. If I tell you what happened to me last night, I got so mixed up and embarrassed. It was painful and quite unnecessary. Well, I was having a cook with my next door neighbor. <laughs> And Wolsey. 
She's home from college for the holiday. And such fun. She makes everyone feel welcome. I was having a wonderful time listening to her tell all about her.